We're going to keep on doing this until we can't see that the oil is actually going further down without us breaking the bleeder yet. So far, I think it's still going in. Yeah, sometimes it actually spurs out, but for this model scooter, I guess it doesn't spur out. Which is kind of convenient for us. That way we can just come back and check the brake fluid. You can see. Let's see if you can still see the bottom of it. Yeah, this is brand new brake fluid. Uh, what's making it mercury like that? It's actually the, the bad fluid siphoning back up through the air. And so it's supposed to be clear after all this is said and done. Look at that. See, it's still cycling the brake fluid. So yeah, I could have spent all day actually opening, closing, and pumping this, which I realized that the long way <laughs> doing the front brakes. And then I realized, wait a minute, it's got to get brake fluid first to the hose before I even start the cracking process. That's what took me so long to figure out of why it wasn't siphoning the full range of um, fluid through the hose. So I finally figured that out and I'm like, oh man, much more easier. I hope the next person realizes this time when they put a brand new brake hose, just keep pumping it until the fluid pumps all through the hose first before you try to break it. So you can see there. Now, again, I'm always conscious. As soon as it gets halfway like that to that circle there, I start refilling it right away because I don't want to wait until I get caught up in, oh, it's starting to squirt, see, because that's how shallow it is now. So there you go, we're gonna add some more. This is our, what, third tap now, a brake fluid. And it looks like we're gonna be using up this bottle pretty quickly. Here we go. There we go. Close back up. Like I said again, you won't be using brake fluid for another couple of years, so don't invest in a, a gallon of brake fluid. Just one single use, because when it's exposed to moisture and everything, it's no longer very effective. So you wanna just buy as you need it in the next couple of years. Okay. Okay, here we go. Family coming over. Oh, now is it squirting? Okay, we're gonna go and put the cap on it now. All right, now it's time to maybe start the process of bleeding the brakes. So here we go. Hi, Dad. Putting the brake fluid. He's more concerned about other stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna put the brake fluid. Now we're gonna start bleeding the brakes so we can uh, use the scooter for safety. As soon as the brake fluid is there, we will go ahead and um, go in there. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crack to open the brake fluid and then we're going to release the air. Uh, Dad, can I use your help? Can you pump the brake fluid? Just pump the... It's my dad here. Uh, okay, I want you to do this for me. I, uh, well, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll have to do it because one hand I can I remember that. Go. Yeah, you, you pump it and you, uh, when I tell you hold, you hold, okay? Mm. Okay, pump it, Dad. Okay, so... My dad's gonna pump it, and we're gonna see if the brake fluid's coming out. <coughs> Keep pumping it, Dad. Pump it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna crack it open, and you're gonna see if there's any. <coughs> there will be, if it made it all right okay. here. Ready? Right? Here we go. One, two, three. There we go. Look at that. Look yeah. at that. All that good stuff. Okay, Dad, don't let, let it go yet. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> My dad let it go. Once you pump it, you hold it. Wow. If you don't hold it, you let the air back in, Dad. Mm. Okay, ready? Pump it. I think my dad let go of the leveler before I uh, got a chance to let him know. Okay, pump it. Pump it. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go, Dad. Pump it. Kind of nice, actually, to have my dad here. <laughs> pump it. Okay, oh, hold it, okay, Dad? Mm. All right, there you go. 
Not much, it's just breaking out a lot of other ones, so. Pump it. <coughs> okay, Dad's lot. oh, there it goes. I can see, feel the calipers is retracting. Good. Okay, okay, Dad, hold it. Hold it, Dad, okay, squeeze, okay, squeeze. Ready? Okay, pump it. Okay, squeeze. Okay, no, squeeze. Don't let go. Don't let don't don't let go. Ready? Pump it. Pump it. Tight. Tight. Okay. Okay. Squeeze some more. Okay. One, two, three. Squeeze. Okay. Good. All right, Dad. Thank you. That was it. So we got the brake now. Uh, where we wanted to, the caliper is working. You can see the NCY uh, brake pads are already squeezing. So, so a little bit of my dad's help, but hopefully, ooh, you know what I felt like? I think it's actually drying up. Oh, thank goodness. There's still brake here, or else if there wasn't, I'm going to tap it some more. Because if it wasn't, we would have to start the whole process all over again. All that brake fluid with a... Uh, wouldn't gone to waste, but it's, you would still need to clean and siphon, but it still would have saved us some trouble here. So here we go. We're going to, like I said again, I don't wait till it's almost near empty. That's just playing danger. So we're going to go ahead and, there we go. All right. This one seems like it's, feels like it's squirting a little bit more. Maybe it has more pressure from a longer hose, perhaps. So we'll leave this there like that. Now, since we don't have anyone to help us, we're gonna have to spin this around the handlebar. When we spin it around, I know it's gonna leak from the side, but we'll do what we can. Okay, we're gonna pump. I can feel it already, it's tightened. But not tightened enough though. Okay. So we'll make sure this is squeezed. Okay. Here we go. Almost capturing it here. All right. Looks like this. Just dark there. Okay, so let me go ahead and prep this up ready. Okay, since we don't have anyone to help us, we're gonna do it ourselves. Um, make sure, let's see, close a brake fluid cap here. I want to check my reserve again one last time just to make sure it's enough. Yep, it's enough. Whoa, is it actually leaning down a little bit to the edge? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so it's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to pump. I'm not sure if I can, let's see here if I can crack open. I can reach my hand through here. Okay, you just want to make sure you place it where you can actually shut it and close it. So I'm going to reach through the rim. This is a little bit tricky. Okay, here we go, I can feel it. Okay, I'm pumping it. And then I'm gonna go and open it. Holding down the brake lever, I'm gonna open it. And you guys are only, well, still don't feel like I can open and close easily. So this is open it. Okay, here we go. Pump it again. Okay, I'm gonna open it. close it. It might be take some time to get used to it and get stretch. Then you want to bring your upper body a little closer. Okay, here we go. Pump it. I feel it tighten. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it. Which, the other way around. There we go. Now it's not tightened. Great. Close it back. Pump it. Feel it tighten now. Okay, open it. Releases the lever there. Tighten back up. Pump it. 
working tight. Now we got another issue here. It seemed like uh, there might be a leak on the brake line. So let me go ahead and uh, troubleshoot that one as well. Because I believe there's oil coming from the handlebars here. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's caused by anything from the brake cap here. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Let's find out, let's take this off. I think it might be actual I think the brake line itself, we need to look inside there and see if that one's been screwed in. It does look like there's a wet mark in there. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to take this case off and uh, troubleshoot it and see why the brake line is not. So we're gonna remove this screw here and we're gonna go ahead and take off this case. So, uh, but the pressure is there already. We got everything here. It looked like it's getting clean. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, we got the top case open and we weren't expecting it. We saw that the oil was running. Either could have been some of it was from the tilting of this that caused it to drip and caused it to come in this end. But on this end right here, you can see here where the connector is, it's dry. So that means this had no problem whatsoever of oil leaking. So this was probably tight and secured. Now this one right here is questionable because we're not sure if this kind of drizzled down from this corner when we turn at the steering wheel like this and it caused the brake fluid but it would have caused it to run up wouldn't you agree so there it goes that's a brake fluid here it would cause it to spill this way and it would cause it to run downward so why would it drip in this way but you can see here it has a little bit of a an oil right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this secondary plate uh, bottom uh, steering wheel housing off and we're gonna go ahead and uh, inspect it and retighten it if we need to. So just a two screws holding it down as well. And then there's another screw on the very bottom right here, which we took off already. So that one's inside where the other one is right there. That was for the housing. I'm not sure you can see it, but See, there's a screw, there's a housing on the very bottom right there that holds this hole, and then there's another one that's holding this housing right there. Okay, so we gotta just take off these two and very top. Let's go ahead and level this back in, and we should be all good. We're gonna do a final inspection. There we go. Put the screw in safely here. Another one. Just a little detour, but not too bad. As long as we get our brake fluid pumped in, I can put the housing in later. The main idea is to show you how to get the brake fluid properly in and make sure all the lines are secure, that's for sure. All right, there we go. All right, so we can yank this down a little bit. Give us some leeway to play with. A little bit harder because kind of held to this like here it's where all the throttle cable is so anyway so you can see here actually there's a good view now to check to see where our level is see that's the lower part and then that's your maximum right there so lower is always midway which you can see the air bubble there this one's showing it's actually in the minimum so is that the lower level and this one's already full which we capped it already with our beautiful NCY cap we're gonna do the same thing for this one as soon as we get this uh, troubleshoot right away so how this dragging cable works is we're gonna to have to slide this down yeah you can see it's actually gone inside so more than likely the break point is somewhere around here so we're gonna go ahead and troubleshoot it here we go get a nice clean rag here wipe this area clean before we start to work on it making sure and we're not going to even close the cap yet until this is the brake fluid is thoroughly done so here we go 
Uh, here we go. All right. So this one's going to take, I believe, is a, a maybe a 12 millimeter socket. Let's see. We have one that's open inside it. Easier. Maybe it's 11 millimeter. I'm not sure. I think it's 12. I'll bring a 12 one just in case. All right. We'll try the 11 one just to humor me. Yeah, actually it's 11 one. Drop that one down and let's just see what's going on. Uh, again, we don't want to put any more air into the line. So what we're going to do is give it a really good uh, righty tidy. There we go. That's a little bit more tighter than it was before. All right. There it goes. And let's inspect this line here. It seems like the leak is coming from this line right here. So what that means is the seal right here. It's supposed to, from the factory, should be properly fitted. So let me make sure of that. Okay, I'm going to wipe it all dry. Again, it could be just leaked from here and then drizzled down here. All right, I'm going to make sure this is dry as well. Yeah. I'm going to wipe everything here dry. We're going to fit it in again. Okay. Get all the way to the little realm of it. All right, let's go ahead and put that in there. So you can see how it squeezes it all the way in easily, all the way to the very tip. Oh, sorry, you didn't see it. Let me show you again. So there's a lot of oil in here still. It's only from the housing. That rubber housing still has a lot of oil in there. Got to squeeze all that oil out of there. There's no way of doing it other than like flushing it, yanking it back off. You can see the oil. See that? There's oil there. All right, here we go. Bring back our little dragon hoga there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And we're gonna see, see how I get all the way through. And that's pretty much what we want is clean out the oil. All right, here we go. All right. It's okay, we can do it this way. Just want to make sure it's clean both sides. And we can really test to see where the oil is coming from. In fact, we'll squeeze right now and we'll see if the oil actually is coming out. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. It's coming. Oh, yeah. So this one's... Not sure what we can do about it. I think we can get a gripper and maybe tighten it further. I believe it screws in. I'm not sure, or it's by the factory. So you can see there that little squirt there. That's not a good sign. So let me see if I can get a pair of pliers and actually just twist it on there and see if that will stop the leak. If not, then it's going to be a concern. We have to actually replace the whole brake line. Okay, I got a pair of pliers here. Let me see if righty tighty still applies. Okay, let's move it to the tightest grip. This might be it. 
Okay, give it a good squeeze. Okay, this is look like it's rubbing it. Yeah, it's aluminum, but let's just give it a squeeze again. Yeah, you can see a little sip through right there. So this 